And now to the IPL fixing saga. The Supreme Court has forced the exit of BCCI Chief N. Srinivasan. In its interim order in the IPL fixing case, the court has appointed former India Captain Sunil Gavaskar and BCCI Vice President Shivla Yadav as the new chiefs of the BCCI till further instructions. Now the court has also given a go-ahead to Season 7 of this tournament. All the teams have been given a green, a green signal, including the Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Royals. Remember, there was a shadow of doubt over both these teams after the Supreme court made these sweeping proposals yesterday. Gavaskar now has been made in charge of the upcoming season. He has been entrusted with the responsibility of taking calls on all IPL related matters while Yadav will take care of all non-IPL matters of the BCCI. We understand that Gavaskar has also been given the authority to take a call on IPL officials who are employees of India Cements, a company, remember, owned by N. Srinivasan. So this essentially means that Sundar Raman's position as the IPL CEO comes under scanner. श्रीनिवासन को हटाया गया है जब तक मामला यहाँ पे चलेगा सब ड्यूटीज जब तक मामला यहाँ चलेगा और आईपीएल मैच के दौरान में बीसीसीआई का अध्यक्ष का कार्यभार सुनील गवास्कर देखेंगे और आईपीएल के पश्चात जो बीसीसीआई का सीनियर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट होगा वो अध्यक्ष का कार्यभार देखेगा धोनी निर्दोष है धोनी का कहीं कुछ ये नहीं है लेकिन कल जो सवाल खड़ा हुआ था मुदगल कमीशन पे उनके कमेंट के ऊपर की जो उन्होंने कहा था उसके अलावे और कोई ऐसी बात नहीं कही सुंदर सुंदर रमन पे सुनील गवास्कर के ऊपर कोर्ट छोड़ दिया है कि सुंदर रमन रहेंगे कि नहीं सीओ द बीसीसीआई मेड वेरी क्लियर दैट सिंस वी वर कंसर्न विद स्विफ्ट इन्वेस्टिगेशन एंड सच इन्वेस्टिगेशन शुड बी कंडक्टेड विद कंप्लीट प्रॉपर्टी एंड देर शुड नॉट बी एनी एलिमेंट of public doubt as to the probity of this investigation that Mr. Srinivasan would not discharge the activities of the president of the BCCI and someone else could discharge those activities for the time being. This was the proposal which was given in writing to the court yesterday by the BCCI. Very reckless allegations were made against the Indian captain based on certain allegations that he had tried to cover up and what he was claimed by the petitioner to have said to the committee. The fact of the matter is he never said any such thing. It is very easy in court to stand up and make all kinds of allegations. It is a totally different thing to substantiate them. And I am only very unhappy that we as Indians should have allowed a position of making a reckless allegation against the captain of India when the team is in Bangladesh fighting for bringing back a trophy to India and doing so well that we are totally unmindful of all this, quite willing to make any kind of reckless allegation in court just to further a case. And uh, Shishir Hatangari, a former Mumbai captain, joining us uh, uh, from uh, the studios. And Rahul Raj Malek, a lawyer with the Delhi High Court, also joining us. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on Headlines today. Uh, the Supreme Court today passing the interim order uh, after giving sweeping proposals now let me just come to you first. How do you see this interim order that's been passed today? And more importantly, as we were discussing before, you were mentioning that this is something, it is a state subject, that the BCCI should have had the responsibility and should have taken up this issue much earlier before having the Supreme Court intervene and, and you know, let this blow out of proportion like the way it has. See, why it has come to this stage that the uh, Honorable Supreme Court had to intervene? Had the Supreme Court not intervened, it would have meant that no, uh, no. I mean, the cricket lovers would be would have no relief. And the the way the working of BCCI is going, where the uh, chairman of BCCI is not, I mean, on moral grounds, he should have resigned, which which he completely declined to, unless and until he got a speaking order against him from the uh, Supreme Court. It's extremely derogatory and demeaning to uh, what the board has always been claiming on uh, questions of propriety or uh, they being. Uh, honestly conducting the game of cricket. So, uh, that contradiction is clear now. And the parliamentarians should now uh, probably come up with some proposal, some new law and uh, you know that should be discussed in parliament. So, as to uh, I mean how to clean up this system, uh, or how to clean up this game of cricket because the Justice Mudkal committee has very specifically in their concluding remarks said that uh, the state of affairs concerning BCCI and uh, cricket in the country is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, it, it, the, the corruption is deeply rooted. 
into the system. Right. Right, Rahul, uh, just hold your thoughts there. Let me also go across to Shishir, who's joining us uh, from our studios. Shishir, the, the status of the present IPL governing council is still not clear. Now, what the Supreme Court has merely done is just given an interim order. We don't have clarification on a lot of things. So, if we understand that Sunil Gavaskar is going to be the head, what is Srinivasan's status? We'll know all of that right before the IPL starts. So, in your opinion, what should be the status of the present IPL governing council? Well, uh, uh, to start off with, it's uh, been announced this morning. So, I think Mr. Gavaskar has a job cut out. You know, it's not exactly an easy road to walk on, especially when you have to walk only for two months. Uh, in that, he has to ensure the smooth uh, execution of the IPL in terms of uh, uh, the venues, the games, uh, uh, the issues that plague the IPL in the in the years gone by. You know, corruption and. Uh, match fixing and betting i mean obviously all these things will be under his domain and uh, he will have to monitor very clearly uh, the issues that really uh, the supreme court uh, took notice of and uh, that is something in in a period of 15 days we're talking almost 15 days uh, to the ipl starting so uh, he's got very little time but uh, obviously if he comes out uh, with a clear blue blueprint on the priorities right. of this particular ipl uh, he will have to find the right people to help him execute. Just the point I want to make is that uh, the very fact that the Supreme Court and probably the first time in the history of Indian cricket has had to appoint, from, uh, some, appoint somebody from outside the system uh, is an admission of the fact that uh, the highest court in India is, uh, is not convinced that people from within are capable or are doing a good job. And right. that itself uh, tells you a, a long story. Absolutely, Shishir Hatangri raising some, some, um, some pretty pertinent issues there. Uh, we also spoke with BCCI's interim president, Shivlal Yadav, exclusively, spoke exclusively to headlines today after the Supreme Court's verdict. Yadav said that he will fulfill the Supreme Court's orders and will take on the top job. Let's listen in. Now with the interim order of the Supreme Court, we have Mr. Yadav with us. And, sir, your initial first reaction? Well, uh, the order has been given by the uh, Supreme Court. And uh, I will try to fulfill the uh, orders have, uh, which have been issued. Now that uh, Mr. Sunil Gavaskar will be looking into the matters uh, uh, during the course when the IPL is getting done, do you have any suggestions as to what is going to happen to uh, Mr. Sundaram especially as well as the India Simmons employees and the players? Well, I don't want to give any comment on that because my orders, uh, as, as far as I know, that I have to look after the cricket affairs, not the IPL. So I will stick to my jurisdiction and uh, regarding what happens to the other uh, employees and all that, it will be for Mr. Gavaskar to decide. So after the IPL session is over, the IPL 7, what are the kind of plans that you have once you become the president of it? Well, uh, I have been given the interim uh, charge. I, will, I am not a full-fledged uh, president. So whatever is going to take place, what is going to happen later, Till September I will be in charge. After that, the new uh, president will take over after the elections, so he will decide. Right, the key question is, since this is a very sensitive issue, what kind of actions can you, in your powers, act, bring in so that uh, uh, this whole cloud that has been marring the uh, BCCI will be actually removed? Give, give me some time. I've, today is the first day, so give me some time. After that, once we, I take charge, we'll get to know more about it, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So here is Mr. Yadav who is actually uh, giving us a concrete plan saying that he, uh, this is just the first day and soon after which he will decide what kind of uh, uh, course of action that he could actually take place. With camera person Manohar Pratibaraman, Hyderabad, headlines today.